Hello lovelies, let's start crafting and make it till our eyes smile, I like to say. This video is part of High End for Cheap, hosted by my lovely friends, Danny and Diane from Deco Easy and Kiki from Kiki's DIYs. Please check my description box for all the links to the playlist and to our host channels. Okay, we're gonna begin by using this cute little toy and I purchased this at the 99 cent store for $4.99. Yes, it's called a 99 cent store, but it also has other things with, you know, a little higher price. But look what you all get with it. And we're going to make some Chevy Licious DIYs. I love that it had the little heart theme. It could be for Valentine's Day, spring. I don't know. My mind was going when I seen this and I fell in love with it. You can find these also similar items to this at Walmart and Target. I'm going to be using this chalk paint in white and I'm going to paint the whole entire thing. If you have spray paint, I would recommend using white spray paint first. It might uh, paint, the, the coverage might be a little bit better, but I had to do about three coats of the white chalk paint on this. So I'm going to be using the treasure gold and I'm using the silver. Also, I'm using the, as you can tell, the gold but I also use the Rose Zion and I absolutely love these colors, all three together. And now I'm just gonna get that silver and I'm just gonna dab it on everything. I just do the top of the teapot, the handle, the plates, the spoon, and also the cups, but I do not do the body of the teapot. And I'm gonna do this method right here with that silver, the gold, and then a little bit of that rose gold. I call it rose gold, but it's actually called rose zion, but mixing them all three together in a dabbing motion gives it such a beautiful vintage look. Now the teapot lid, we're just gonna do the same thing, but we're not gonna do the heart on the center of that lid. We're gonna leave that alone for right now, because once we're done, we're gonna paint it with that rose zion. Now I'm just gonna dry brush some of that gold right over the teapot. I decided to do that so the hearts will stand out a little more. Then I put everything aside and let it fully dry. And then once it's dry, I did a coat of Mod Podge just to seal everything. So now I'm gonna add some glue to my Dollar Tree candlestick. And I'm gonna, candlestick holder. And I'm going to put it right on the bottom of my teapot in the center. And then I twirl it around just to make sure that it's even all the way around. So now I'm gonna use this beautiful satin ribbon. It's like a moss green. I'm absolutely loving this color for this spring. And I'm just gonna do a shoe tie bow. And then I just kinda angle the tails and then I do burn the tails just so they don't fray. I glue it to where the handle connects to the teapot and I'm just doing that to one side opposite from where the spout and on the other side I'm going to put some leaves and those are from the roses. Now I showed you how to do rose. I will leave that link in my description box to how to do these roses. Also, I will leave a card up on top. Well, I'm just gonna add those roses on each side of the handle where the ribbon is and the leaves. So I'm gonna use some of those Dollar Tree pearls and I love that they're different sizes. You can find those in the floral section and Dollar Tree usually carries them. Mm. Most of the time I can go there and find them. Uh, I like to add some things to the where my glue shows sometimes or where things connect. I like to fill those little spaces just in case when I'm decorating and I'm looking at a project or someone else looks at it, you want it to be eye appealing. And I think that's why I do that. You don't have to, it's optional. I'm gonna add some more of those pearls and my BB Craft beautiful beads and I'm gonna add them to the spout 
and I just kept adding until my eyes were smiling and I was happy with what it looked like. I decided to add another rose to the bottom of my candlestick holder along with some leaves. As you can tell, I cut them and just added them to the bottom. I added some pearls and some moss also. And this right here is a beautiful gem. I got that at Big Lots in the Christmas section when they had ornaments for clearance and I thought they are absolutely gorgeous and shabby-licious. I'm going to grab some of these BB Craft. You know, if you watch my channel, you know, you know, I love using pearls from the Dollar Tree, different sizes, and I love these BB Craft crystal beads. Now, I'm going to get these little spoons that we painted, and I'm just going to put some glue right there inside the spoon. I love using these candlestick holders from the Dollar Tree to hold my pearls and my beads and sometimes I keep a little more on hand so I can separate them if I have to. They're just easier to grab and they're not rolling all over the place. So here you see me just gluing these. I like to put two of the crystal beads and one large pearl or small pearl and then the other spoon you'll see me add a large pearl and a smaller pearl and one of the crystals. So now I'm going to get the two cups and I'm just going to glue them right in the center of those plates. I do add a generous amount in the middle with the hot glue and I'm also going to add some to the cup on the bottom just to make sure that it sticks really well. You can put some on the round, you know, around the bottom of the cup. Also, I did that to want this cup, and then the other one, you'll see I just added some right to the center. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna come off. And the hot glue pretty much holds it really nice and firm and tight. Oh, that just sounds weird. But you know what I'm saying, right? You get it, you get it. You're probably noticing I didn't paint the bottom of my plates. I did go back and paint them with the white chalk paint. Uh, that's optional, up to you. Uh, I just wasn't gonna do that at first, but then I decided I really love the way these turned out and I wanted them to have that high-end shabby whimsical feel and so I ended up painting the bottom so if you're not too worried about it and no one's really going to see the bottom that's totally up to you but I did decide to go back and paint them but oh my goodness aren't they cute so now I'm going to add some beautiful whimsy magic and I'm going to add me some of my favorite mosses and it is deer moss with Spanish moss. I love to get this at the Dollar Tree and I just get a one gallon bag and just fill it up and mix them together. I put some glue, trim, and oh my goodness, is that not cute? I added a rosebud inside that moss, right inside that cup. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I get excited when I see these because they're just so stunning. I also added some of that beautiful sponge moss. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I just, I'm a moss girl. I just love moss. <laughs> I get this at Hobby Lobby and I call it my magical mystery moss because I'm always forgetting what the name is. But, oh, it is beautiful. Look at that. Well, if you like Shabby Chic, I hope you join me every Tuesday. I upload a new video. And it's a shabby chic video, whether it's shabby chic whimsical, a shabby chic glam, it could be French shabby chic, it could be vintage, it's whatever I'm feeling that day, but it will be shabby-licious. Now the other cup, make sure that you put the handles opposite of each other, so when you are displaying your 
teacups that you can put them together as a beautiful set. I did add this little stick, it was funny, it was inside the moss bags and I thought it was a really cute touch. Oh my goodness, aren't they stunning? Oh, beautiful. You can put it on a candlestick holder or you can just leave them as is. I don't know, I just feel that they are so beautiful, lovely. Here is the final look with all of it together and oh my goodness. I am ready for a fairy tale shabby chic tea time. Isn't these shabby licious? Yummy! Well, thank you so much for visiting me today, lovelies. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps my channel grow, it helps YouTube notice me a little bit more. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Please subscribe, click that bell. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. And if you love Shabby Chic as much as I do, please join me for Leany Shabby Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I upload a video. If you love decor, visit me at Leany's World. There I share how I decorate. I post weekly videos here at Crafty Leany's. It was my pleasure crafting with you today, lovelies. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes. Stay blessed, be kind, be kind to yourself and others. I'll see you in my next video.